All right, guys, I'm going to show you exactly how to use this template step by step. No questions asked. I move fast. So try and keep up. Just rewatch it if you need to. The first thing you're going to do is come up here to file and go to make a copy. Please do not request access to the original. I can't give you access because it'll overwrite the root and a root for everyone. You have to make a copy. So all you're going to do is just call it whatever you want for the site that you want to run it for. I'm going to run this for our website laces out. And then you can come back in here and close the original. Like I said, please do not request access because it sends me and David emails. It's incredibly annoying and I will verbally abuse you if you try and do it. All right. So that's the first thing. Make a copy and then you've got your own copy of this to run on your own. So now let's talk about the inputs to this. So if we just scroll down here a little bit, you'll come here to the getting started section. And all you're going to do here is you need five things to make this entire content audit run. That's going to save you. I'm talking about hundreds of hours worth of work. This is going to automate the entire process for you. So you're going to need the homepage URL without the slash of the site that you want audit. Number two, you're going to need access to Google search console to get the site map URLs for that site. Number three is you're going to need to install Supermetrics, which is a free plug. I'm going to walk you through that in two seconds. Number four is you're going to need access to Google Analytics for the site that you want to audit. Audit, And then number five, you need access to Ahrefs for link data. And I'm going to walk you through each of these step by step. So, like I said, we're going to run this here for my baby here, Laces Out. This is our e-commerce store. Let me just make sure I got the right URL here. should be... <clears throat> So I'm just going to come in here, double click, and then paste this. It should actually be HTTPS. And like I said, you need to make sure that you do not have the slash. Please, please, please remove the slash or it will not map properly. So once you have that, you're going to put it in here. And always notice up here, this means that the spreadsheet is loading, all right? So it's going to take time to pull some things through. Please do not freak out. It takes time, okay? The next thing we need is the sitemap URL. So on the left-hand column over here, we're going to input the sitemap URLs and it's going to find the pages for us. So what you're going to need to do is go into Search Console for the site. So here you can see Laces Out. You're going to come over here to Sitemaps under Crawl and you're going to click on it. Now this might be a little bit confusing to you that are not overly familiar with SEO, but what you're going to do, you might notice a couple of sitemaps, like an image sitemap, a video sitemap. What we want is the root sitemap. So I'm going to click on the sitemap index here. And what you're going to see in here is a number of sitemaps within the main sitemap. That might be a little bit confusing, but a lot of times sitemaps will auto-generate category pages, pages, post pages. It's just easier to, 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 to break it up, okay? So what we've done here is we've built out six spaces to put in these, UR, these sitemap URLs, and we wanna get all of them that are relevant to the audit. So for example, we want the category sitemap. So I'm just gonna click on this, because these are all of the categories on our blog which are important for organic traffic. So again, I'm gonna click right here. It's gonna open up the sitemap URL. I'm just gonna copy it. And then I'm gonna double click here in, in 12 and I'm gonna paste it in. And again, what you'll notice up here is that it's loading. So it's gonna calculate the formulas. It's gonna spit out these pages and you can just see it calculated as well. Once it goes green, it's done. So I'm gonna come back up here and get another sitemap URL that we need to build this out. The next one, I don't need this one because this is uh, for like homepage slider stuff. So I'm gonna click here on page sitemap. I am going to open this up and I've got this URL and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to paste it right here, right underneath that. And it's going to load. And while that's loading, I'm just going to go ahead and grab another sitemap URL. So I'm going to grab all these sitemap URLs that we need. I need the post and I'm also going to get the product one, obviously, too, because this is an e-commerce site. So I'm going to click up here, grab this, come back, dump it in. And you can see it's loading. And I put that in wrong. Make sure it's input exactly. You can see it's loading. So it's going to take some time. Okay. So don't freak out if it's taking some time to load. It's going to take upwards of three minutes maybe to pull all these sitemaps that you're pulling in. So then I'm going to come down here and I'm just going to grab this product one. I don't need the product category one. It's, uh, they're all de-indexed on our site, so it's not overly important. And now I've got the sitemaps put in. So I'm going to close this. We no longer need Search Console. And I've got all these in. Again, you can see up here it's loading. So I'm just going to go ahead and fast forward this video and wait until it's done. And then we'll move on to the next step, which is getting Google Analytics data. Okay, so now once all of these go green, it's pulled all of the sitemaps and, and it's pulled all of the pages that we're, we're going to need. And you can see those here in the sitemaps tab, but I'm going to talk about that in one second. Let's finish getting all the data. Next, we're going to get Google Analytics data, which we need to get from Supermetrics. So I've got a link here. I'm just going to click this. If you don't have Supermetrics installed, it's free. I already have it. Just double click and install it. And then once you have Supermetrics installed, what you're going to do is you're going to sync this sheets page with Google Analytics. So mine's already done, but I'm just going to show you how to do it. So you're going to come down here to the Supermetrics Queries tab. You're going to click on this, and then you're going to put your cursor here in cell 21. And what you're going to do is come up here to Add-ons. 
you're going to go to Supermetrics, and you're just going to go to Launch Sidebar. <clears throat> now, what you're going to do <clears throat> is you're going to set this up. This is just pulling directly from Google Analytics. What you're going to do is make sure that it's pulling from all of the right um, within Analytics. So you're going to click here on Modify. And then what you're going to do is data source. You're going to click select. Well, first of all, you're going to make sure it's mapped to your right analytics account that has this website in it. Then you're going to go to select views. And so you can see here, this has got laces out already set up. That's good. We're just going to leave that as is. I like to run this for the last 12 months. Um, select metrics. What you want to do is leave sessions and bounce rate in here. It's pulling from organic sessions and organic bounce rate. That's exactly what we need. If you have an e-commerce site, make it e-commerce conversion rate. If you have a B2B site, make it goal conversion rate. Um, and just make sure that all goals right here, make sure that you have obviously goals set up and tracking. So this is an e-commerce site. So I'm just going to leave e-commerce conversion rate right here. That's done. And then you're going to make sure that the segment is set up to organic traffic. And once that's done, what you're going to do is click on apply changes. And again, this is going to take some time to query this data and it's going to pull it all through here into Supermetrics data. So I'm just going to, again, fast forward this. And once this is done, I'll come back. So, so I can close this. Once we know that that's pulling through, and then what we need to do is get the Ahrefs exports. We're going to click here in the Ahrefs tab and just go to ahrefs.com and you're just going to type in the site that you want to pull it for. And this is going to be under the site explorer tab. Then after it's pulled it down, you're going to click on backlinks right here. And finally, what you're going to do is you're going to come over here and click export <clears throat> and you're just going to pull this down to a CSV. We want the full export. Click Start Export, and this is going to dump this down as a CSV file. And once this is done, it will download. Just click Download, and now we're just going to open this up, <clears throat> and we are going to highlight the entire thing. And we're going to just Command Copy this, Command C. So wait for this to copy. We're working with a lot of data here, so you got to be a little bit patient. Come back up here, and then we're just going to paste it right here into this tab. So let's just make sure it goes in. And this is going to take all of the link data from the site and it's going to map it to what we have already in here with the site map, with the analytics data. So this can take, you know, upwards of 30 seconds to a minute to pull into. Again, like it's really important to be patient because we're working with a lot of data, especially for bigger websites. So you've really got to take a deep breath and don't freak out. You can see here it's not even clicking another cell. So I'm just going to fast forward until this is done. And then we'll move on to the next step. All right. So you can see here now it's pulled in all of the link data that we just copied in. And now, if we come back here to the Getting Started tab, everything is filled out, right? You see the pages with organic visits. This is pulling from Supermetrics. You've got the total links recognized. This is pulling from Ahrefs data. And then what we have here, this is the analysis, okay? So now we need to talk about this. We need to talk about each of these. So the point of this is not to just go ahead and delete pages or 301 pages. The point of this is to really tell us which ones that we need to review and which ones that we can write off the bat, either 404 or 301, but you still kind of want to review these manually. So what this means, anything that we're going to 404, it tells you up here. Okay, so we're going to 404 pages that has no organic traffic and no backlinks. We're going to 301 content that has no organic traffic but does have backlinks. We're going to leave content as is that has organic traffic but has a low bounce rate and a high conversion rate because it's getting traffic, it's got good engagement metrics, we just want to leave it as is. We want to review it manually. So this is really the hard part is reviewing content manually if it has no organic traffic and no backlinks. And then once we have the manual review data, we'll want to go through it and look at it and see if we want to update the content, see if we want to delete it, see if we want to redirect it, see if we want to change the topic, whatever it is, because it's just not relevant anymore, okay? So this is pulled through all of this stuff that you would have had to do manually. It's 100% automated. <clears throat> Once you have all this data done, it'll pull here. Now, what you're going to want to do is click here on next steps because this here actually, sorry, on uh, next steps, yes. This is the, the line by line itemization of all of the URLs on your site. And it's got the organic traffic, it's got the conversion rate, it's got the bounce rate, and it's got the link count. And then this here is the, the next step recommendation that it's automatically spitting out. So, what you're going to want to do is anything that's tagged as QR or 301, you're going to want to find, let me back up, anything that's tagged as QR, that means quality review, you're going to want to review this page and you're going to want to check it for relevancy. So we can see here that this is a category page. This is our ASICS category page that it's probably going to have low, it's, this is a low quality page, right? We don't have a lot of content about this topic, ASICS. Um, they're not very great posts. There's only five of them. So we're probably going to want to either redirect or just to go ahead and delete this category page 
or maybe we want to set it to no index or set a canonical tag to a more relevant piece of content or a more relevant category page. Because what happens is if we have a lot of these category pages here, they're going to weigh down the site. They're not getting traffic. They're not getting links. They're low quality pages. We're going to want to remove them because it's actually bringing down our indexation rate. So anything tagged with QR, we're going to want to make a further decision on it. So you can just add another column here for what to do for this one right here. I'll probably just delete it, honestly, because it's not serving any value. You can see it has no traffic, no conversions, and it's got no links. So the page has absolutely no relevancy or, or, or value to the site. So we can just get rid of it or set it to no index, either one of those two for category pages, right? Anything with 301, we can see here that it's not getting a lot of traffic, but it's got some links to it. So what we're probably gonna wanna do here is redirect this because it's got links, it doesn't have traffic. This will probably, those links will be more valuable to maybe a post, maybe to a product that we have, maybe to another category page that's getting traffic that's very similar to this category page, okay? So all you're gonna do is you're just gonna go through here and you can see how this is cleaned up and it's much easier than actually going through. If you're gonna do this manually, you would have to manually map links to these pages. You'd have to man manually map traffic, conversion rate, bounce rate to these pages. It would be a friggin' nightmare. But you can see here what this template does. It does it all for you, and it's gonna help you massively speed up this process and make decisions very quickly. You can audit a very big site in a matter of hours as opposed to a matter of months, which is what it takes some big agencies to do this. So this is a huge, huge step up from doing this manually. I hope that you guys use this. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to David or myself, or better yet, just leave it in the comments on the blog post or in this YouTube video. But that's that, and please refer back to the video because I'm gonna talk a lot more about, sorry, refer back to the blog post. I'm gonna leave you a link underneath this YouTube video about more about what these next steps mean and how to make better decisions about what to do with your content. So again, please enjoy this. This took a lot of David's time to fill out. We've been doing this for about over a month. We're both very busy dudes. Please, 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 if you like this, share it, comment on it, give us some feedback, engagement, and uh, you know, like, subscribe, and make sure to check out David too because the dude is killing it with this type of stuff. His site is Coding for Losers. Strongly suggest you check it out. He does this stuff all the time, and I've said it before. I firmly believe that this type of, this type of, of automation is going to greatly overtake SaaS in the next five years once people understand the power of Google Sheets and what you can do with it and with some of these add-ons like BlockSpring, and uh, super metrics. So very powerful stuff. Again, guys, uh, see you in the next video. Take care.